I'm Lizette LaForge from Beacon Windows, and I want to talk to you about a project we just finished up. We worked on some sliding glass doors that had extensive damage in their tracks and in, also in their bottom rails. In addition to that, they were not properly installed. Now, they work like a charm. Take a look. Very easy to close. Works really, really well, even though they're very large doors. So in just a minute, we're going to talk about how we did this. We're going to show you some things down at the bottom that you'll be able to understand if you see a problem like this happening in your door, you need to address it because it's very, very serious. So we'll cut to the shots down here and we'll take a look at what was going on. So let's talk about what we actually did. The biggest problem we started with was they had incorrectly flashed the door. So this piece was underneath this track. With that happening, it stuck out. If you notice, it sticks out beyond the track. Of course, the track was then on top of this. The problem with this was it's not the right stuff. It's rusting. So it was really not only a tripping hazard, but a liability issue. And it would cause perhaps some tetanus if you, you know, happen to hit it with your foot and, and hurt yourself. So it's a, it's a bad idea. Now, the other problem we noticed when we took it off was, if you notice, whoever installed this door, they put a series of shims and then just slapped a little caulking on there. The problem with that is this caulking is not mashed down. What it means, if you understand how this is supposed to work, it means that this shim gave enough air space underneath that the caulking did not settle down onto the floor. Thus, there was an air pocket underneath the track, underneath this, and water could have intruded at any time. If there was a serious storm coming in, we could have had serious water intrusion. Bad idea, okay? So what we did was we removed this by taking the whole door system apart, taking off this track, removing this, and threw it away. Then we floated the floor so we would have the right level and correctly put the products underneath there to give it the waterproofing that it needed. Then we put the track back down, and when we put the track back down, we further added caps over the areas where the damage had happened from where the wheels were. The reason there was damage on the wheels is, well, just take a look at the wheels. They're rusting. Now this building was only built in 2004. This should not be happening, but it was happening. And because it was happening, it was causing several problems. One problem was wherever these lived on this track was seriously getting gouges and causing corrosion issues. So we were having holes in the track. The second problem was it was causing situations like this piece right here, which has a, a bit of a pouchiness to it. We call it pregnant door syndrome. And if you look very carefully, you can actually see that right in here, there's some, almost looks like door acne. It's actually bursting out. And in a couple of years, this would have all been opened up, bursted out, and once that happens, you don't have any more metal to tie your wheel systems into, and it's bye-bye door time. So very, very serious. And this was happening on all the panels in this entire unit, three different doors. Very, very big problem. And it's because they used crappy wheels when they installed these in 2004. Now look at the difference. This is a stainless system compared to that. That's what we replaced this with. This will last for many, many years. You just keep the track clean and your wheels will last. These have sealed bearings and they're made out of stainless steel. They live in the same place here. Other things we did was we replaced all of the screw systems with stainless steel. That includes in the track, all the way around, and also on all the door systems. This is important because as these screw systems rust, this can actually separate from the glass. And it's a bad idea for a door for the glass and the side rail to not be together. So we definitely wanted to look at that, and in this particular case, we had rust everywhere, so we replaced everything with stainless steel. Then when you go back further, you'll notice that over here, we've also added some pieces in to hold in the non-operating door. This is a four-panel door where the left and the right do not move, so these don't move at all. So we were able to put some additional pieces. We put a piece here, and we put a piece at the top, and we put in five screws, all in stainless, removed a little piece of the track, this makes us a much sturdier door in case of a storm. Now this is not a hurricane resistant door, but it gives it a best chance of staying nice and sturdy. One of the most important things is when this and this do not meet correctly, like an interlocking situation, that's when you have water intrusion possibilities and wind intrusion possibilities. So by correctly making sure that that can't move, 
and we keep a good quality wheel in there that's correctly aligned, we will not have a problem with water intrusion or wind intrusion, less rattling all around. It's a very, very powerful way to do that by making sure you put these in. So in a nutshell, that's what we did to this door. By doing this, we've added years and years of life. Had we not taken the time to clean out these corrosion issues, we'd be looking at new doors in just a very short period of time. Very expensive mistake. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to give me a call. My number is Liz my name is Lizette LaForge. My number is 727-641-8106. I own Beacon Windows, and we try to do an exceptional job for you every time. Give me a call.